Hello everyone. So let's start with this uh, session with a question. Okay. And the question is, have you ever imagined why glucose has been given to us to get instant energy? Let's think, think, think. And the answer is glycolysis. Okay. And in this topic, we will discuss about glycolysis. Why glycolysis is essential for us? Okay. In our cell, all the bodily reactions are happening inside this. Okay. And all these are part of metabolism. Okay. Metabolism means the process by which chemical reactions takes place in our body in order to change food into energy. And this can be of two types. One is anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism is construction and catabolism is destruction. Glycolysis is a catabolic process which is actually happening in our body. Okay. Where glyco means sugar and lysis means breakdown. Matlab ke yahan par sugar ka breakdown ho hai. The pathway has been divided in 9 to 10 steps which are further arranged in two steps. One is preparatory phase and second one is payoff phase. Preparatory phase means ATP is used, payoff phase means ATP is released. And all these processes are happening inside the cytosol. Okay. In our body or in our cell, we have cytosol and inside the cytosol, the glycolysis is happening. The end product of this reaction is pyruvate, which is the ionic version of a pyruvic acid to which we all are familiar from class 10th. Okay. If you see one molecule of glucose when undergo glycolysis, the resulting product will be two molecules of pyruvate. Okay. Two molecules of pyruvate is actually produced, which undergo three types of pathway. That is, number one, formation of lactate. Second one, conversion to acetyl coenzyme A. And the third point is, ethanol formation in the anaerobic respiration process. And acetyl coenzyme A is undergo tricarboxylic acid pathway okay or tricarboxylic acid cycle and that is also known as Krebs cycle now let us discuss about the pathway in detail okay the pathway is starting from glucose where glucose will converted to glucose 6 phosphate okay we will see these steps uh, step by step okay glucose is produced to glucose 6 phosphate by the influence of ATP changing to ADP. Okay, if we see ATP is produced to ADP and the enzyme is used here that is hexokinase plus magnesium is used as a cofactor. Then the next step, okay. In the next step, we will see the conversion of a glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. And here phosphohexoisomerase is the enzyme that is responsible okay then fructose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 1 6 bisphosphate why 1 6 bisphosphate not diphosphate i will tell about this here also atp is produced to adp and one atp is used to produce the bisphosphate group okay and the enzyme is used is phosphofructokinase 1 Bisphosphate means here the phosphate groups are in separate position. One is in one position and the other one is in sixth position. If the phosphate will be at two same position, matlab, if the phosphate will be at the sixth position, if the two phosphates are in the sixth position, then we will tell that diphosphate. But as they are in different position, we will call them as bisphosphate. Then the next process is formation of a glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and the formation of a dihydroxyacetone phosphate. We will see how these are produced because fructose 1 6 bisphosphate that is a 6 carbon compound and these two are 3 carbon compound. This reaction is done by the influence of aldolase enzyme and Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, they two are isomer, which is actually 
continuing by the enzyme isomerase okay if you see glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate they will undergo same pathway okay due to the influence of a isomerase enzyme so we will discuss them in one side means we have to take one one side that is glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate or dihydroxyacetone phosphate and we can continue the rest processes remember isomerase is an enzyme that isomerizes means convert one product to its isomer and here glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate the two are isomer so from this stage the formation of a pyruvate starts and also remember from this point the payoff phase also starts okay numerous atp will be synthesized through substrate level phosphorylation what is substrate level phosphorylation we will discuss it in later phases okay during this video we will discuss substrate level phosphorylation and from now you can show one side of the process as they both will undergo similar changes okay so with uh, this two pyruvate will produce each from one side okay i am taking glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate into, into consideration and let's the pathway continues here from that 13 bis phospho glycerate will produced okay and here one phosphate is utilized okay because bis phosphate is actually producing then nad will converted to nadh okay so the enzyme is used is dehydrogenase and we simply call it glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase okay then let's see what happens next 13 bis phosphoglycerate it will produce 3 phosphoglycerate okay we will see them step by step 13 bis phosphoglycerate will produce 3 phosphoglycerate and it, and it, here you can see one adp will change to one atp here the substrate level phosphorylation is actually occurring phosphoglycerate kinase is the enzyme that is responsible for this reaction remember phosphorylation is a process that is a metabolic reaction which results in the formation of a atp or gtp by conversion of a higher energy substrate to a lower energy product okay here enzyme is used and one substrate is going to produce another product and by this step we are seeing the production of atp that's why it is known as substrate level phosphorylation okay so phosphorylation means the formation of atp or gtp okay and why we are calling it substrate level because here higher energy substrate is converted to lower energy product it is different from photophosphorylation which takes place during photosynthesis okay and oxidative phosphorylation which takes place in the mitochondria during electron transport chain using oxygen let's see 3 phosphoglycerate will converted to 2 phosphoglycerate okay so why it is actually happening the enzyme here used is phosphoglycerate mutase okay which is actually doing some mutation here okay the phosphate group is transferred from the three position to the two position then one water is released okay why water is released we will see here okay one water is out and you can clearly see the enzyme used is enolase to produce phosphoenol pyruvate so now we are coming to our final steps okay here phosphoenol pyruvate will produce pyruvate okay and you can see also several steps like one phosphate will release from this step also and this phosphate will also accepted by the adp to produce atp then the enzyme responsible is pyruvate kinase and you can see several substrates like potassium magnesium manganese they are also used in this process to continue this okay now we can clearly see our end product that is the pyruvate and this is the end product of a glycolysis which undergoes aerobic respiration to continue krebs cycle and that will be discussed in another slide thank you for watching guys like 
शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल